everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be sharing with you my one sentence unpopular K-pop opinions. If you are confused about some opinion please ask what I meant in the comments and I'll explain there in detail to avoid misunderstandings. Of course these are just my opinions so you can disagree, but please be respectful. I use the word you a lot in this video but that doesn't mean I'm referring to you specifically, I'm addressing generally so don't take it personally lol. Now let's get started. K-pop idols who are quote-unquote relatable mostly get praised for their personalities and their actual talents in singing, dancing, rapping etc are overlooked. Being good at dancing doesn't necessarily mean that an idol has good stage presence. Being generic isn't bad, but I understand why people would get tired of it or annoyed by it. The reason some groups don't self-produce slash self-write, isn't because their company isn't allowing them, it's simply because they can't write or produce well, and there's nothing wrong with that. Blackpink's comeback routine isn't mistreatment, it's a business strategy and is one of the reasons why Blackpink is so successful. Fan voting shouldn't be used for award shows, because then the award will be about popularity not talent and less popular groups who deserve more won't win. This one is a little hard to admit but it's usually the toxic stands that help groups to chart, get wins, and be more successful, because they are so dedicated to the group. Most collaborations with Western artists are wasted opportunities that could have been really good songs, if more effort was put into making them. If Blackpink debuted from another smaller company they would still be really successful, but wouldn't get half as much hate as they do now. Saying things like oh we don't own toxic fans is just a way to make your fandom look less toxic, but in reality you have no rights to own or disown someone from your fandom because they aren't your fans. Funny K-pop content creators don't get enough credit for how much they help promote groups, they make basic moments of groups look really funny, and their videos are the reason why a lot of people find out more about a group and end up standing them. TXT have the most creative song names. Red Velvet don't have a bad chemistry, they simply have a mature friendship and just because they aren't all over each other 24-7 doesn't mean they hate each other. Being all-rounded doesn't just mean being able to sing dance and rap, it means you can do them and are really good at all three, main or lead material, thus a lot of idols who are called all-rounders aren't actually all-rounders. Diagnosing idols with depression is really messed up, you can't just diagnose someone with something so serious, and it seems as if some fans actually like the idea of their idol suffering which is disgusting. Some companies do have favorites amongst groups, but that is in no way the idol's fault and they don't deserve any hate for something that they have no control over. I prefer Dynamite over Butter, probably because I like more upbeat songs. Temporary groups are a stupid idea, like why would you hype up people for a group, make them love them, only for them to disband in two years. Cries in Eyes 1 most of the things that we complain about are things we probably did slash do ourselves, unintentionally or without noticing, for example jumping on a bandwagon. Constantly emphasizing that a member is underrated or underhyped will only lead to people biasing them out of pity or just making them known for the underrated label and nothing else. Pop songs aren't meant to have longevity and a lot of replay value because by the time a song starts to get old, the group will be back with new music. Jenny's lazy scandal was blown way out of proportion, the fact that now three years later you can talk about it and it will still be relevant says a lot. You can unstand a group for any reason as long as you don't make one-hour documentaries about why you unstand them and why we should too. Only the minority of idols will actually learn from being educated about problematic things, others will just know to not say certain things that could upset fans, but not the reason why. 2021 has been a rather dry year for K-pop music so far, but I don't really think it's going to get better. Companies usually make the weakest vocalist the rapper even in groups where rappers aren't necessary, and that causes really unnecessary raps in songs that end up ruining the song sometimes. No K-pop idol deserves to be called overrated because during training they go through stuff that we can't possibly imagine and they've all worked hard to be where they are today. The who paved the way discussion is useless and a waste of time, and just causes unnecessary fan wars and toxicity. The way fans keep on saying that dating isn't a big deal kind of makes it a big deal. And lastly everything is becoming about views, streaming, charting, hate, drama and scandals these days, just enjoy the damn music.